Hi, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is the 5th of June 2024 and today would have been my Nan's 98th birthday. My very, very special, dear to me, honestly, the most beautifulest person ever, my most incredible, cherished, special little nanny would have turned 98 today. I lost her three years ago. Three years ago, on the 31st of May, she took the Lord's hand. And today, on the 5th of June, she'd have turned 98. It's, um... And you know what? It's so hard. It's so hard. It's, it's so difficult because I absolutely appreciate with all of my heart how blessed I am to have my nan for all eternity and that she is always going to be my nan. But there is heartbreak every day. I miss her with all my heart every single day. And you know what? Sometimes I can just randomly find myself just welling up and come to tears and other times I laugh and smile about the memories which we hold. And other times I'm angry because I don't have her now. And that's me being selfish, I know. And I'm very, very uh, proud and uh, appreciative and blessed and cherished the fact that my nan had a very, very long life. We lost my nan just, she was just shy of 95. So we were planning her 95th birthday. And it was going to be this, it was lovely garden party and there was going to be pictures and everything. And unfortunately, um, I don't want to make this, I don't want to make this um, go that sort of sadness route. But um, I lost my name very, very horrifically. Um, and uh, we went from planning our birthday party to planning her funeral. Um, but uh, my, my nan had uh, Alzheimer's and my... Uh, Myself, I spent a lot of time with her throughout my whole life. Um, I was I was just shy of 28 myself when my nan died. And right from as young as I can ever remember as a baby, my nan was always there. Growing up, um, she had such a, uh, an influence in my life. She was always in my heart, I always say this, um, that she was the third parent. It was almost like I had two mums. I've been very, very blessed in this life with my parents, my mum and my dad, who were my best friends in my absolute world. And my nan is on that table as well and means the world to me. Um, it's my mum's mum, and the bond they have, honestly, it was throughout my whole life, just as they were best friends, as sisters, and of course, mother mother and daughter, but it was very much like that sisterly sort of like bond, almost. It was incredible, it really, really was. Um, and I was blessed to have all of that, and to grow up in that love, and... Um, yeah, and of course, but... And time's cruel, isn't it? Because it... Um, it is a blessing and it, it continues, doesn't it? No matter what, that's the one thing what we can we can be sure of is that time doesn't stop. No matter what somebody's going through, time doesn't stop. Today would have been my nan's 98th birthday. And do you know what? Most days I have a moment where it comes over me with great sadness and, um, and faith is a huge part of my life and is a huge guidance to my life. My mum and my dad get me through um, my faith is another huge uh, guidance. And in my prayers, um, I always talk to the Lord about my thoughts, my feelings, and um, sometimes troubles, of course, the good and the bad and everything. And um, he shows me a way. And uh, yeah, with my, with my man, um, you could just, I'm just, heartbroken to be honest with you today because I've got so many incredible memories of birthdays which I spent with her and you know when my nan turned 90 I remember um one birthday which stays out my mind um I was so looking forward to my nan turning 90 and bearing in mind my nan had Alzheimer's um and she had Alzheimer's for about 12 years but she literally held two fingers up to that illness and she kept going she defied the odds on all of it she kept coming back and for somebody who had Alzheimer's she she kept as strong as possible bodily and her mind 
until of course anybody will know the natural progression of any of those type of uh, cognitive um, illnesses. Um, my nan's Alzheimer's, yes it progressed of course, but she still remained, she was always my nan, um, and she will always be my nan. Um, and you know, so many wonderful, wonderful memories. And um, I remember my nan when it was her 90th birthday, 90th birthday, and um, I was so excited to where um, to where my nan uh, uh, lives uh, lived. Sorry, and um, and uh, I walked I walked through the door, and uh, my nan was in uh, like a lounge chair, and um, there she was. And as soon as I seen her, and my nan is was always such a glamorous lady her hair always done like she'd walked out of a salon um my nan loved her makeup and um her clothes and jewelry and um she i can remember she was almost like this this like white cream color with a pearl necklace and um i rushed over to my nan and I bent down to her on my knees, like almost like a little boy. It took me right. Oh, my nan always had the power of bringing me back, even though I was a young man, as almost like a child. That that child bond. And um, I said to her, um, "Nanny, happy birthday, happy birthday." And um, I told her how much I loved her and everything. And I said that she was ninety, and she laughed and she said, "No, she's not. She's 80. And um, oh, honestly, we had such a lovely time. And and and. Um, I always used to try and spoil her with gifts because my mum and myself, we always, whenever we used to leave her and say goodbye to her, we always, and it's, it's terrible, isn't it, really? We always used to love her and, and kiss her and hug her, much that that would be the last time. Because, of course, nobody, I always say nobody has promised her tomorrow. And when you love somebody so much, you want to make sure that that person knows that they're loved and cherished and... Um, we we did. Um, so you can tell I'm hurting today, can't can't you? And um, I'm trying not to get upset. I really am trying not to get upset. Um, but do you know what? Um, it's a testament to what you think of somebody, isn't it? It really, really is. But do you know what? When I think of my nan now, um, and this morning I've been out with my brother uh, for brunch, and um, and I've just come from the crematorium, um, and I've got this lovely memorial bench where my nan and myself used to sit, and this was way before my nan ever had Alzheimer's at all, and um, my grandfather has a tree there, my nan's husband, and um, and, and a grave, and uh, where a bench is situated where my nan and I used to sit, and we used to take some lunch, and we used to... Um, my nan used to live the opposite side of town, and we used to walk, and we used to walk to the crematorium, we used to take some lunch, and it would be like we would all be together, and I, I treasure those moments, honestly, and my nan would sit that side, and I'd sit this side on the bench, and we'd look out onto the crematorium, and granddad's tree would be just, just across from us, and we'd laugh, and we'd natter, and we'd put the world to rights, and, um, and now I've got a bench just situated back for her. So that's covered in uh, wreaths and flowers and everything. Um, uh, yeah, for what would have been, of course, her birthday and her grave with my grandfather. It's all different flowers and everything on there as well. So I've just refreshed all of that today. And I usually go up with my mum and my brother and um, sometimes myself. And I sit and I compose myself and go through thoughts and sometimes smile with none, sometimes cry with none. Um, but when I think of my nan now, I don't think of the memories, and I've got wonderful memories because my nan was a huge, huge advocate for, in, uh, such a strong lady. But yes, yeah, she had Alzheimer's, but she had a, her life. She had a voice. She was still nan. And you know what? She, she defied all the odds of that illness and she kept going and she was so resilient, so strong. My nan taught me so much in my life. She really, really did. But do you know, the four things will always stand up in my mind, and this hit me when I delivered my nan's eulogy at her funeral. And, um, um, was, no matter what, keep going. No matter what, keep going. Keep going, no matter what. Always work hard. Family is everything. And always look your best. No matter what, always look your best. You never know what's going to be around the corner. Be ready for anything. Family is absolutely everything. Always work hard and keep going no matter what. And you know, even throughout some of the worst days, some of the best days with my nan's illness, 
She was always smiling. She was always shining. She was always so glamorous. She was always so done up to the nines, as my nan would say. And um, and when I think back on uh, uh, all the magical times, the memories and the birthdays and, and Christmas and one thing or another, and um, I don't think I'm alone with that illness now. I go back to all the wonderful, wonderful memories and the summer spent with her and growing up. Um, we used to do day trips to uh, to the beach. And we used to go onto the train. And we used to go for shopping days out because my mum and my nan, I'd always be with them and I'm with her brother and they loved shopping. And I think that's partly why we do as brothers as well. And um, so we'd go for trips like that and uh, and... And um, one day we went back to where my nan was originally uh, from, that part of the world, that area. And um, so many wonderful, wonderful memories. And where we live, we're very privileged with different walks and things. And um, it's like, an, uh, like a natural sort of water uh, way with paths and things. And, and very often um, we used to go for walks and things there and take some lunch and that. So lots of wonderful, wonderful memories. And... Uh, I am so blessed. When I think about it, I am so blessed because she's always here. And um, and I've got so much to think about and, and uh, to hold on to. And for all eternity, she is my nan. She is my nan. And you know, on my desk, which I'm doing this clip from here, um, this is my dear nanny here. <laughs> and I've got one picture here and I've got another one beside. Um, of me and her when I was slightly younger and that this is where I work and um, so I do do my work here and if I have a difficult time or if I come up against something um, she's always here inspiring me and getting me through and um, and as I say I've got such so much to be grateful for so much to be thankful for of course when you love somebody so much it's like you know in the last couple of days I say to myself that when she took the Lord's hand, she didn't let go of mine, and I've always got her. But it's just, of course, when you love someone so much, it's been three years since I've given her a hug. It's been three years since I've told her I loved her. It's been three years since I've helped her with different things and loved her. And, and it's just, oh, goodness me. And um, But, wow, well, when I think back to lady she she is and always will be and um oh goodness my nanny was such a hard worker and she she gave her heart and soul to her family and her family and her grandchildren were everything do you know what my nan was actually and this was while she was living was a great 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 grandmother and it was over 50, 50 something grandchildren, because she had seven children. And my nan had some really difficult times. She lost two children um, through cancer. And, um, and my nan lived 10 years after them. Um, so I'm very, very privileged that my nan had a long life. And I know that even my aunt, who I loved and adored, um, very much almost like a twin to my mum, they were very, very alike, very glamorous, very house proud, very hard working, very strong ladies. And um you know, she was forty six when she died and yet my nan lived to just show ninety five. And it's just incredible, isn't it, how life works. And I always say that you know what, whatever goes on, and I think my nan taught me this, like that all the all the stressing in the world, and I'm a naturally stressful person, this year my house took quite a hit through stress because I'm usually on a holiday commemorating my nan's uh this sort of anniversary and her birthday. Um, but this year, because of health, I've not been able to. And stress has destroyed me, actually, for quite a while this year. Um, Health-wise, it's really made things worse. And do you know what? When I was with my nan, even throughout her life, and do you know what? She was a stressful person. And just, do you know what? Sometimes what it done to my nan, and even in the end, when my nan took her last breath and I was there, um... Just, I thought to myself, do you know what, if someone so beautiful, so incredible can go out of this world horrifically the way she did, then all the stressing in the world, what on earth does it do? What on earth does it do for us? So I do try to hold on to that. Um, and as I say, faith is a huge guidance. And I have faith that she is, she is up above. She, because growing up, 
my nan, my nanny would always say to me um, that, because um, my nan was 67 when I was born, and um, she always said growing up that she would never see me to grow up, but she would all, and she always said, I think the world of you, my love, and to my twin brother, and she loved all of her grandchildren. But I think there was a little bit of an extra place, and um, she'd say, I think the world of you, my love, and although I may, may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you, and I'll always be looking down on you. And, um, you know, but she's seen me to, I was nearly 28, and um, she's seen me in my career, and um, she's seen me through different stresses and different health issues and my hearing loss, and, uh, oh, goodness me. But, you know, I know she was in the fight, but, um, and people will probably hate me for saying this, but it was still far too soon. Do you know what I mean? If the Lord would have allowed it, I would have held her for a lifetime. That's what you do, isn't it, when you love somebody so much? Um, so let's turn this on a positive spin. So Nan is always going to be my Nan. Today she would have been 98. And I like to think that in heaven she's with her sisters and she's with her mum. So mum died when she was very, very young and my Nan was in the land army. She was a land army veteran. And, um... Incredible lady, strong lady, a lovely home, um, had a huge family, and as I say, gave her heart and soul for her family, and had lots of different jobs as well. My, my nan worked right up until her, in her, uh, just, I think she was about 74 when she stopped work, maybe even, I'm not sure, maybe even 75, I'm not sure, about 74, I think, and, um, just testament to what hard work does, and, um, and just all of, just to keep going, and no matter what, to keep going. And even through the difficult times, which we all go through, and inevitably having such a big family, I think you'd probably go through quite a few, but no matter what, my nan would be up. Literally, the, as soon as it was starting to be light, my nan was usually up around five, sometimes before four in the morning, and would go to bed very late as well. And it would be literally hair done, makeup, as glamorous as ever, handbag on arm, taking on the world, and she'd have your hand as well. And do you know what? Just honestly, in awe, if I ever turn out to be half the incredible person, my nan and my mum and my aunt are, um, oh goodness me, wouldn't I be successful? Wouldn't I be, yeah, honestly. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. It's it's been really, really lovely talking and commemorating my nan. And as a lot of my subscribers will know, she is absolutely everything to me and she always will be. Um, and she's always with me. She really is. And for anybody who is going through grief, and whether it's been a short time or a longer time or or whatever, they are always, if you love somebody that much, they are always with us. They never, ever go. Um, you know, somebody said to my brother when we actually lost my nan around the time that if you close your eyes, she's right there with you. And if you want to look at it that way or a different way and that she's always in your heart. And if we love somebody that much, they're always in our heart and they will always live on. And they live on through when we talk about them, when we run a miss about them and we keep them alive that way. Um, so many different ways to look at it. And on that note... In heaven. I hope my nan has a wonderful, wonderful birthday with the Lord and all of my other family in heaven. And um, I love her so much. And on that note, God bless. Thank you very much for being here. And I will see you real soon. Bye for now.